It's a double-sided platform. It was an island platform. And the uh, Rodbury trains used the other side. And I had our own room to there. Yeah. When they came in there and ran down to the... Where that, there used to be a sleeper crossing there. Where the old signal box used to be more. And it was a torn table there. This is the south end of Morpeth Station, where we used to set off from the North British platform side to Scotts Gap and Rodbury. Uh, it was a bit stiff climb away from Morpeth up there, on that cove. And that's past the hospital. It was more with Cottage Hospital. And uh, the golf club, and that's the, where the bridge is across the Moldy One. It was fairly level after that, till ups and downs, till you got to hang on. Two bridges, two roads that you went under. This is on the way to Melden. Well, this is Melden Station. There were storing wines of coal in there at that time. People lived in the station house. I think it had been the ex station master. The wards of Morworth, there was two wooden huts. <laughs> Just wooden cottages. That the people lived that were inhabited, and one of them, the signalman of Scots because you always drop and cool off for From here onwards, it's a fall down, it, it, it fall on Grady down to Wangatton Station, right into the Wansbeck Valley. That's the Wangatton distance signal, where the cross the level crossing was at Wangatton Station. Originally, there was a signalman here, there was a fellow who walked on the station, he used to open the gates, and you could get a throw run, clear the signal, and you could clear the distance signal. Both ways, but of course I did away with him and uh, he had to open and close it myself. That is 58, number 5834 to J27. This is Scots Gap Station. And uh, that's, that was the ocean mark. And the village stores here and that sort of thing. And this is at Woodbourne Station. That's the driver, Harry Wiggum. Actually, that was the line ended at Woodbourne End. It didn't, uh, that had been taken up between there and Reasonable, Belgium. They kept the crane there for unloading military traffic for Otterbourne. The guard, Milbourne, George Milbourne, did a bit of shooting. Some of the traffic at um, Woodbourne was uh, was army military stuff, personnel carriers and army vehicles and vans and things. And then, of course, they just decided to put it all on the road. Harry Wiggum. And this is me at the end, yeah. I managed to get on the film. The driver suggested that he take me and he got on it. <laughs> 